There are a few illnesses that potbelly pigs can get because they're living in your home that you should be on the lookout for. One of them is urinary tract infections, uh, crystals, that type of thing. So you should be monitoring every day when they go outside to do their business or they're doing their business in the house, in the potty box. You need to monitor that urine flow, the color, so on to make sure if anything is happening, especially with those little boys, uh, you can be on top of it quickly. Same with constipation. Uh, make sure that they're eating a high fiber diet, uh, that they're grazing as frequently as they can. Uh, that will help with constipation a great deal, that they're drinking enough water. And those are things that are easy for, for you to monitor. Another thing that they can have is uh, a something that's called dippity pig and it's very important because some people are really concerned when they see it that right here in the small of their back they develop almost like a herpes virus and it's very painful all of the nerves um, that are next to the skin are very very sensitive and that's what causes their hind legs to dip down and why we call it dippity pig we don't know what it is, we don't know what uh, causes it, but we do know that it usually only happens in a few hours to a few days, and the pig is over it, and it does not need any medical attention. However, you should put the pig in a quiet environment, let it uh, sleep uh, so that it doesn't have to move around. It'll continue to eat during this time. And if you suspect that your pig has dippity pig, you should be calling uh, a veterinarian uh, to be sure that that is what you're seeing. Parasite control is also very important. You, all pigs should be wormed uh, so that they uh, pass any worms that they may have. Um, right after you get them home uh, from the breeder, you can go ahead and get them wormed right away. And also that will help with any mange. Uh, mange is a mite. It's, it's on the surface of the skin. It's microscopic. You can't see it. Uh, it's not like a flea. Uh, it reproduces rather quickly and will cause extreme itching to, to the animal. In the case of swine mange, uh, it doesn't cause uh, a lot of hair loss until it's really at its very, very severe case. In order to get rid of mange, you need to give your pig uh, worming medicine called ivermectin, and there's another one called Dectamax, and that should do it. But you do need to treat them two times, 10 days apart, 10 days to two weeks, and um, that should take care of both the adult mite as well as the eggs that might be hatching. That's very important to do that, even a couple times a year. I recommend spring and fall, a good time to just um, worm your pig. Another is overeating, probably the number one problem we have with, with pet pigs. Overeating, obesity can cause uh, blindness because the fat just keeps growing over their eyes and they can't see anymore. Uh, not because there's there anything wrong with the eyes, but because the fat just completely covers their eyes as, as much as a blindfold would cover your eyes. Hearing, hearing loss, they get hearing loss because that fat, it just keeps growing and growing and growing right over those poor little ears and they can't hear very well. It's more like when you're listening to something that's muffled and that causes behavior issues as well. You don't want that to happen, but worst cases are the um, arthritic conditions that these extreme overweight pigs get uh, early on. There's so much weight put on a joint that wasn't meant to have that much weight. So arthritic conditions happen early on these pigs. And sometimes that can be genetic and sometimes that can be an infection. So if your pig is lame, you need to see a veterinarian to make sure you're treating it properly. It could be a number of different things.